Rob, thanks for talking to us. Um, just welcome to Leinster, first and foremost. Um, just your initial impressions now, you're 48 hours in, how have you found uh, the building, the squad, the staff, everything in your, your initial impressions of Leinster? Yeah, um, first of all, I was flattered to be given the opportunity to come here, you know, so um, I just grabbed that opportunity with both hands. Um, so, yeah, first initial impressions, I've had a fantastic welcome. Um, I had some messages ahead of arriving here. Um, so I've been in touch with a couple of players as well, just to get a feel of the place. And uh, yeah, so we're only two days in, so I'm still finding my feet. Um, but the players have been outstanding, the coaches as well, made me feel uh, very at home. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to getting stuck in. Speaking of getting stuck in, obviously it's a massive week to be starting, first week of Europe. And, <coughs> and I know Seamus Toomey's been in as well the last few weeks, uh, kind of bridging the gap between John and yourself. Um, will you be kind of, you know, get the hands dirty this week or is it a case of kind of having a chat with Seamus or Leo or Stuart, kind of a bit of a watching brief where you're getting kind of stuck in straight away? Well, no. Uh, in fairness to Seamus, he's done a great job um, at the start of the season. So I think that relationship will continue during the season. Um, but if I took the, took the plunge really to just jump in with both feet because time is against us with regards to um, me wanting to put my stamp on one or two things. You know, I'm not going to change uh, a great deal. I don't think there's a need to, to change a great deal. But just the, the odd tweak here and there. Uh, and the players have been very receptive to that. So. Um, yeah, you know, today, um, yesterday, you know, those are the two days really where the main bulk of the work, uh, as far as I'm concerned, are done anyway. So um, I'll be taking a little bit more of a backward step uh, for the remainder of the week and just let the players crack on. You know, you've got a fantastic squad of players. Um, we had a great presentation this morning from, uh, from Stewart with regards to what the European Cup means to uh, Leinster. Um, you know, the proud history, proud tradition, there's an expectancy um, and you can't say, say that with a lot of clubs uh, that are in the competition. So there's, uh, there's pressure to live up to those expectations. Um, and Sean O'Brien again, he, he spoke uh, this morning about what, when the blue shirt means to him. And it was, it was a good um, framing of the day and framing of um, the European campaign in general, really. Um, so. On the back of that, it was a good session, um, and it just gave me a, a taste. I felt, you know, pretty honoured to be in the meeting, really, and you know, to know what it's all about. Um, you're always, if you're on the outside of the environment, wondering, well, how come they've got it so right? Um, so I'm in a very privileged position, and uh, you know, it's not lost to me. I think it's um, it's a great opportunity for myself um, to learn, to develop, and. Um, yeah, uh, just really looking forward to, to seeing what we can achieve together. You've got to answer my next question a little bit there, but you're someone who's like synonymous with Welsh rugby. Why, why Leinster? Why come to Leinster? You've kind of, kind of maybe painted the picture there, but give us a bit of the, uh, the thinking behind making the decision to come here. Yeah, it's, it, it's a no-brainer. I mean, for, for any Welshman uh, to coach your own country, um, that's the best coaching job, um, really, you know. So um, on the international level, I um, was there for 12 years, um, pretty successful period in that time as well. Again, learning from some good coaches around me, some great players. Um, and when Leo uh, got in touch with me, first of all, um, you know, I was just uh, taken aback really. But it was a no brainer with regards to, you know, again, the identity, the strong identity that, that Leinster have, um, one of the best clubs in the world, really. And when you look at the amount of local grown talent, that has developed from within the region. Um, that's the envy of, of any club that I would say. Um, especially in Wales, um, where we haven't quite got things right. Um, so I'm, I'm just looking forward to spending time here and uh, you know just taking it all in. Speaking of that kind of development of players, like anything, give us a little bit of an insight into your own background. Obviously, Scarlett's an athlete, uh, obviously coached Wales. Like, if for people who maybe don't know, tell them a little bit about who is Robin McBride. Yeah, you just said it all there, really, <laughs> from a rugby point of view. Um, yeah, from North Wales originally, um, moved down to further my rugby career. I was fortunate enough to uh, make a go of it. Um, I was only fully professional for four years. Uh, I used to work for the electricity board uh, as an overhead linesman. So, um, yeah, and first of all moved to Swansea, uh, then moved to Llanelli, which became uh, the Scarlets, lately. Um, 
but again, during that period, it was very, very, very fortunate to, to play alongside some great players, Scott Quinnell, Celeste for now, um, Stephen Jones, you know, quite a few. And we had a proud uh, record in Europe ourselves. Um, didn't win it, but, you know, we progressed further than anybody else had from a Welsh perspective anyway. And uh, those European weekends were great. And um, that's the lasting memory, really, for me, uh, having played in, in, uh, in Europe. Uh, yeah, and uh, representing my country as well, fortunate enough, got to the 2003 World Cup, um, was part of the 2005 Grand Slam. Um, didn't start every game, but um, you learn a certain amount of, uh, about yourself as well when, you, when you're not first choice and you've, you've got to play your role in, uh, within the squad. So, um, yeah, retired 2005, um, fortunate enough to um, be given an opportunity in 2006. Um, obviously, Mike, uh, Mike Reddick, um, he resigned from his post and um, Scott Johnson asked me to help out. So it's funny how the world works because Mike was my first coach in Swansea um, and obviously Reese is part of the squad here. So um, it's very funny how things work out. Um, yeah, and since then, since 2006, um, I've just been kept on and, um, you know, I've I'd like to think that I've improved a little bit in my coaching ability during those 12 years. I had some fantastic experiences. Um, learned a lot from, from Warren Gatland and the, the other coaches. Um, yeah, and just really looking forward to, to getting back and facing a, a new challenge uh, with some good people around me. Speaking of which, that challenge starts on Saturday at the ODS. Like, just you kind of touched on you know, getting insight into what the European Cup means here and obviously the history. Um, have you been at the ODS before for a game or for a European game or anything like that? And if not, then what are you looking forward to Saturday? No, I've been there for a game, yeah. I um, can't remember if it was an European game or not. Uh, but yeah, you know, full house. Um, good rugby stadium as well, really. Um, so, yeah, just really looking forward to the experience. Obviously, the lens of crowd, the lens of support. Um, we blew everywhere, so... Uh, yeah, it should be a good day. I mean, we're under no illusions, um, as was the case in the World Cup, really. You've got some, some teams who raise the game because they're on a bigger stage, and that'll be no different from a Treviso point of view. You know, they're a proud bunch. Um, they're a good side as well. Very unlucky to lose last kick of the games against the Scarlets away from home uh, last week. Um, give uh, Leinster a run for the money at the start of the season um, over there. So. Yeah, we're under no illusions. They're not coming here just to, to you know, turn up and just be, be part of it. They're, they're coming here with, with their own ambitions as well, and rightly so, because they're a quality side, they're well coached. Um, so we're not taking anything lightly. Um, so just looking, for, yeah, from my point of view, obviously just looking forward to getting, getting into it.